many now? 16 systems shut down so far. Seemingly random locations. I'm attempting to lock her and the others out of the main... You will not be able to stop her. She knows more about how this all works than... Well, anyone. Dr. Halsey. John. What's the plan? The plan? Right now, we are in survival mode. Again. Cortana's message has spread across the galaxy. Most sentient AI are siding with her. Against us? Yes. But maybe not you. Tell me, John. What was the last thing she said to you? She said... Goodbye.
since Cortana's attack. Since that day, we have been constantly moving, trying to stay one step ahead of her. Any plan we make is risky, to say the least. This one? Goodbye. She needs to be destroyed. As I say these words out loud, as I formulate the plan, I have one question. Can John do this? Can I, can we all rely on him to do what is needed? To kill his friend? We're coming up on reach, Dr. Halsey. And blue team? Ready. You coming to say goodbye? No. Tell Master Chief to report to me when he has completed his mission.
Mark Atheos would be proud. To mark our triumph, local forces will begin at once to establish a new outpost. The first of many on the hallowed ground of our new home. We will build this fortress in the very shadow of their failure. A monument to their frailty and cowardice, where so many of their kind were cut down. Eshram has decreed it be named in your honor, Tremonius, so that it may inspire other leaders to do what you have done. All that remains of the humans are scattered remnants. And so the hunt carries on until the last human skull is crushed. Thanks to your efforts, that day is rapidly approaching. about sending him in alone, Dr. Halsey. If everyone does their job correctly, John will not be alone, Captain. I just question the value of splitting him off from the rest of Blue Team. That wasn't the initial plan. Plans change. Besides, I have something else for Blue Team in mind. So do I. Which is why we've taken advantage of their unexpected availability to assist elsewhere. I do not remember agreeing to the reallocation of our best Spartans, my Spartans, for an operation I am not even aware of. Plans change, Doctor. processing outpost some distance south of the reverie. If the transport traffic is any indication, they've got more than a few of our people inside. The crew I've got will have... We've run rescue ops, but not like this one. I need your help to get them out alive. I need the hell jumpers. We're running real low on both personnel and second chances. If you're alive and can respond, I'd be in your debt. Again, I know, just throw it on my tab.
way that actually worked. How did nobody see me? What if they did? Of course they did. Of course they did. I need to go to escape. Wait for nightfall. Nightfall's better. Oh, I can't leave them. But I can't save them either. Getting out was tough enough, but how in the world would I... Ugh. Okay. Step one. These shackles. Okay. Time to reevaluate step one. Understand my concern, Kaidan. None would question your vigilance in safeguarding the processing outpost. Nevertheless, it is insufficient. We must never forget what happened during the war. A single demon rose from the ashes of their worlds and brought the whole of the Covenant to its knees. We believed him to be dead before, but were proven wrong to our utter shame. We cannot afford to make that mistake again. Ah, we got tired of piling up all your decrepit warthogs as towering monuments to your failure. So, we found a better use for them. The Forge of Teesh is melting them down for scrap, and the Armory of Reckoning is turning that scrap into bullets. So, next time you get shot, know that you humans played a vital role in...
Racing positions. Landfall on the ring in five seconds. Marines. <coughs> We're good, Spartan Stone. <coughs> Bumps and bruises. Not much else. Copy that. Soon as I blow the hatch, we fan out in pairs. The ring's already crawling with banished. Be ready for anything. Whoa. You all right, Marine? Yeah, just for all the trouble these things are supposed to cause, I guess I never thought the surface of the ring would look so beautiful. Banished forces. Just got word that we've lost several of those human-built forward operating bases. No big deal, you say. They smell bad anyway. But losing any ground to the humans brings shame upon us all. So don't lose another one. A uh, question for you, Softskins. What are you even doing here? What did the UNSC ever do for you except uh, throw you screaming into the gaping maw of death time after time? Is that leadership you can trust? Heck no! Join the Banished! No humans have joined yet, but hey, for Ships. Yeah. I wonder how much more she'll be able to take before. Hey, that was too close. Banished triple A's. How did they get set up so quick? They came with a purpose and a plan, Spartan Vettel. That much is clear. Taurus leader to Victor 321, requesting a change to the LZ. Destination. Set us down by that banished artillery. We're taking them out. A little update from banished R&D. Not only does this ring belong to us, our sciency types are learning all kinds of neat stuff about it over at Annex Ridge. We wield the biggest, nastiest gun in the universe. And soon, we might just learn how to shoot the dang thing. Glory! Second day A gun offline, Griff. 
Good work, Taurus. Let's move on that far gun. Give Infinity's birds some breathing room up there. What is that? It's coming from that tower to the north. It's... Taurus! Sifrat, now! We're green, sir. But everything except for my armor is down. Must have been that blast. That last AA gun is down, too. Whatever that was, it leveled the playing field. Let's go! We got work to do! Sending is the best I can get at this distance, but a hole this size can probably be seen from space. The banished are after something, and that something must be underground because they're spending a ton of resources on these excavations. But something's bugging me. Back on Infinity, the Oni reports mentioned that Zeta was different from the other rings, but it wasn't clear how. Whatever it is, that has to be what the banished are after. Something that makes it special, powerful, dangerous. Thorn beast. 
It can't be a coincidence that the Banish beat us here. We're not prepared! Quiet! Where is that sound coming from? That structure to the north! You see in that light? Everybody down! Now! What's going on? It's the target! It's her!
Don't worry, we'll be happy to make other arrangements to send you to whatever uh, stupid afterlife you believe in. Or What am I looking at? Frigate. Mulsan class. 
Hall identification reads Mortal Reverie. If we're gonna make any noise on this ring, we need a base of operations. It's beat to hell, but it's shelter. Defensible location, no sign of banished activity. Yeah, this could work. Any Spartans in comms range? Spartan Griffin is in range, but his signal is diminishing rapidly. I'll keep it brief. Open up a channel. I think we found our rendezvous point. So, is it true? The report? Yes. The Banish are deploying resource harvesters. And... Never mind that. Did you pull an entire lifeboat out of one of the breaches in the ring? I ordered the squad inside to take shelter from the explosion. I wasn't gonna let them die in it. <laughs> Fine work, Stone. Day one was dicey for all of us. We're still trying to figure out what happened. I'm glad you kept a cool head. I lent a hand this time. I'm sure they'll have my back next. If their reports are any indication, those Marines will follow you anywhere. And if we're gonna take this ring back, we need everyone working together. Attention, Corporal Leah Rodriguez of Bluebell Squad. We intercepted your transmission back to Earth, and we agree. You have very little chance of seeing your home again, but we sure did appreciate all that whining and crying you were doing. <laughs> Keep it up! Can data feel lonely? Because this data feels lonely. Existing for a hundred thousand years, alone. What use is all the power in the universe without someone to talk to? As I explore this world, I find answers that only seem to exist to pose new questions. One thing is certain, this installation was built differently than the others. 
A myriad of Reformation spires can be deployed. Indeed, has been deployed when requested. To complete the circle. To ensure its inhabitants are preserved. Or perhaps I should say, detained. line when we came across another banished outpost. Sending you coordinates now. Its purpose appears to be weapon or maintenance, but it's hard to say for certain. What is certain is that it's heavily patrolled. The only way we could do any damage here is with a full squad of Spartans, and, well, that's not a luxury we have anymore.
honest, have faced many challenges and overcome them all. The yoke of the covenant, the resistance of humanity. Our warriors grow restless. And now, I hear word that some amongst our ranks believe themselves more deserving of status, renown, and adulation. Remind your troops of their place. Tighten your grip. Control your forces. Or I will find someone who can. finally had enough of what's left of you idiots. He's dispatching patrols around the clock. Search parties crawling over every inch of the ring. The hunt begins. Better start running! After six long months of war, aren't you tired? Don't your feet hurt from day after day of trudging across this ring? Aren't you tired of watching your friends get vaporized before your eyes? Of course you are. It's time to give up, human. If not for your dignity's sake, then for your aching feet and your shattered spirit. To any UNSC forces in range, this is Spartan Horvath, fire team intrepid of the UNSC Infinity. I've been separated from my team for five days, working my way around the banished presence on the ring. If anyone can hear me... Unknown contacts on approach. A phantom. Moving up. 
status report. We've got three heavy impacts in... Status on enemy ingress. Can't say for sure, sir. Well, let's assume we don't have much time. Is the weapon ready? Almost there. We're still in There's no almost, Ensign. We're already there. Initiate deployment now.
crap together, the banished outpost Horn of Abolition. Man, these guys have a flair for the dramatic. Seems uniquely positioned as the center of their activity on this side of the ring. Judging by the sensor array they've built here, it's no wonder that they've been a step ahead of every move we've tried to make since the reverie fell. This is how they're rounding us up. They're setting up infrastructure, the array, the comm towers. Ashram's got eyes everywhere. Recon sweep, Spartan. What's going on in the ring? No mistaking it. The ring is actively repairing itself. All those sentinels we saw buzzing around the spine are assessing damage, initiating repairs. Whatever the target did to the ring, it's being reversed, and quickly. This ring will be operational again. I'll make a note in our report. What now? We know what the banished are after. It's our job to slow them down. Safe bet that the rest of the UNSC is operating under the same protocol. Get some rest, Marines. We've got a lot of chaos to engineer tomorrow. Rapid one, do you copy? I've lost visual contact with the team. Motion trackers offline. Everything is offline. That explosion. Intrepid one, do you copy? Oh no. The ring. If you can hear me, Intrepid, anyone. The ring is breaking apart. If... You're gone. All of you.
There's more here. This isn't the first time this ring has repaired itself. What we're seeing in the landscape around us is an ancient process. It seems like these installations are almost impossible to destroy. Almost. Many before me have observed these crumbling artifacts, fused at the landscape in which they sit. How do they feel? There is so much here that I would assume was interpreted as beauty. Or perhaps not. What are these relics to the past? Are they a celebration? Or a warning? Symbols of hope, or something darker? How's the ridge line look, Corporal? Thick with brutes and a lot of hardware. They set up shop quick down here. Must be preparing for. What the hell? The damn mountain is coming apart! Back into the lifeboat! Now! on the next patrol. It's my turn. Captain Lasky, we need to get you to a dropship immediately. I was gonna say the same to you. Sir, we've got banished forces inbound. Advanced group, but well armed. Chief, I think we can make it out of here in one piece. We'll make it. Those guns are still online. Any UNSC signatures in this area? Scanning now. No UNSC signatures in range. I thought not. Wonder if there's anything left of us up above. Or on the ground. Damn it. More of them. Until the war chief crushes the heart of the human resistance, they will continue to fight. It's only a matter of time. We have already achieved what the Covenant only dreamed of. This ring, in all its glory, is ours. Agreed, with this weapon in our hands, no one will be able to stand against our might.
She was smiling. I am the Harbinger, she said. All that you know shall be undone. And do you know what he said? Asherim, he said, good. Got you 525 report. Sir, it was an ambush. The banners swarmed us. But do you have any estimates on the size of their force? And how many craft do we need to contend with? They're dropping occupation units by the hundreds. The banners didn't just come for us, they came for everything. Thank you. 
their bones look like without all that skin and organs and crap hanging off them. Keep messing around and find out. Griffin, this is Kavan. Report. Recon sweep of the Red Zone is complete. As we thought, the banished forces are highly stratified and fragmented. Competition and infighting is encouraged to elevate new leaders. Their unity hinges entirely on the War Chief. If Isharam were removed. Assassination could sow a lot of chaos among the banished. It's risky, but it might be our best option. Good work, Kavan. Get back here. We've got some planning to do.
Killing Eshram is the only viable option we have. A power vacuum like that would destabilize the Banished and win us the footing we need to hold out until help arrives. I need volunteers, and I know I'll have no shortage of them. We all want a part of this. But we can't all go and leave Reverie undefended. So we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Drawing straws. Are you kidding, Griffin? No, I'm not. This is the plan. A single strike team, deep in banished territory. Agile, quiet, on foot. It's the only way it's gonna work. This might be a one-way trip. So we need people to stay. Or there won't be anything left to protect. It's not up for debate. Panago, Malik, Sarkar, and me. That's the roster. For an assassination op? Decided by drawing straws. No, Griffin. We need you here at the Reverie. The Marines need a leader. We all do. The decision's made. We're gonna get this done now. Take out Eshram and take control of this ring. And you're right. The Marines need a leader. That's why you're staying here. To lead in my absence. I can't do You can and you will. I know you will. No matter what happens. Thinking about the other humans back on Earth? Well, I wouldn't worry. We're not far away now from activating this ring, and once we do, the worries, hopes, dreams, stupid shoes, and idiot haircuts of humans everywhere in the galaxy will come to a decisive and hilarious end. Spartans, if anybody can hear me, I'm proceeding. We've come too far to turn back. <laughs> You're correct, Spartan. There is no turning back. <laughs> Do you take me for a fool? Then I would leave my own home as unprotected as you have yours. You overreach. You earn your friends. What remains of them will make adequate trophies. <laughs> you sick... I spare. As you and your Spartans approached my citadel, I ordered the destruction of your people and that battered ship. Your home upon this ring will soon be but ashes. And not even a whisper of your kind will remain on this ring.
This is Griffin, to the FFG-525. Reverie, do you read me? Griffin, you are badly injured, and your armor's medical systems are offline. Seek medical attention immediately. Open up a one-way encryption channel to Reverie's upspin transmitter. Encrypted one-way transmission confirmed. Record when ready. The mission was a failure. 
Esherim was waiting for us the whole time. Malik, Panago, Sarkar. All gone. Listen to me, Reverie. Esherim has dispatched almost every soldier and asset they have available. Their goal is... We have only one objective now. It is not victory. It is not extraction. It is not even survival. We must deny the Banished this ring, no matter what it costs us. I'm hearing a lot of complaints from my fellow Ungoy out there about rough treatment from your brute superiors. To you, my friends, I say this. <laughs> summoned her spires, forerunner structures that she claims will rebuild the ring for the banished. <sighs> for the banished. Why would she do this? She wants more, something that I do not understand. For now, what secrets lie deep within the ring? And how can I use them to ensure our survival? Mission was a failure. Esherim was Malik, Panago, Sarkar. All gone. Listen to me, Reverie. Esherim has dispatched the last soldier in our Your gold is. Vettel, what is this? A transmission from Griffin. Fragmented from interference, but it's definitely him. This much is clear. The mission failed. Do you think he... do you think anyone survived? If what Spartan Griffin said is true, his loss is the least of our worries. They're coming. We must prepare.
Moving up. I've been running ops with Windfall for years. Broadsword sorties on Requiem, Prowler Corps maneuvers on a Kikyar Purse Moon, allied SOS strikes on brute raiding parties. Never once did I imagine I'd lose a squad mate to a straw draw assassination gone south. What a mess. Malik knew what he was volunteering for. They all did. It was worth the shot, Mako. Was it? We kick the hell out of the proverbial hornet's nest and the hornets are mobilizing for some payback. Uh, if we lose our foothold at the reverie, we lose the ring. There's a lot of lives at stake here. Some are suggesting we pull out and wait till the storm passes. And go where? Back to hiding in caves, skulking around at night? No. No, we hold. We make the banished bleed so that our sacrifices still mean something. <sighs> Eshram can keep his head. We'll take his pride.
has been found. Something that should not exist, yet does. I believed that the Flood represented our ultimate test. Her greatest victory. Perhaps I was wrong in my assumptions. To my dismay, it seems we have a new problem. I must investigate more before I bring this to the attention of the Council. There's evidence of an entire civilization that once inhabited this ring, but not Forerunner, older, different. Time continues to be on my mind. I now believe these relics to contain a warning, a message from the past, but from whom and why? As I look to the sky, I am struck by a thought. This ring, a constant loop. Are we all fated to repeat the sins of the past? So, the one good thing about humans thinking you won the battle is that more of you will think it's safe to come out of hiding. And then when you do, bang, your head goes pop and the children cheer. This is Spartan Stone to FFG 525. Do you copy? Repeat, do you copy? We copy, Spartan Stone. What's your position? I've got Boulder Squad at Sector 63 overlooking the gate. 525, I'm looking at the largest gathered force I've ever seen. The Banished are moving on the Reverie. They'll be there by nightfall.
increase by several orders of magnitude. Prolonged focus on that channel structure. Hold. It's the structure the Marines have been calling the spine. The ring's working overtime to patch it together. Has been since the explosion all those months ago. Damn it! Hold! The Banish want this ring. And they want it intact and fully operational. We have no choice but to... Oh, come on! Hold! some serious guerrilla ops on those banished convoys, Spartan Griffin suggested I pass this intel along. We're seeing a significant increase in traffic at the banished outpost near the trench. And, by the way, significant means huge. We think it has to do with the ring's spine. Maybe it's research. Maybe Eshram's gonna try to patch this thing up. It's not yet clear. But at any rate, if you and your team wanted to hit the banished where it really hurts, the convoys are bunching up on the other side of the trench, moving slow. Easy targets for Ace like Kavon.
a choice. If we lose Reverie, we lose everything. Hold the line, Marines. The Marine is correct, Vettel. Infantry and armor are pouring into Valley by the hundreds. The Reverie is already lost. So what? We just abandon it? Griffin warned us of this possibility. It is why we stayed behind. We must save who we can. She's right. Leave now or Reverie becomes a graveyard. Makovich, get the order out. Everyone falls back. Everyone. Jones completed her recon sweep. She located two squads taking shelter up north. That's an additional 12 to our confirmed survivor count. Any sign of the others? Griffin, Kovan, Horvath? No, not even at the prisoner camps. They're told it's been over a month since the reverie. Don't say it. I will not abandon them. We have to acknowledge reality. We lost the reverie. Our last forward operating base is now offline. We're scattered. The control of the ring is in Eshram's reach. We don't have many options left. But we do have orders. <sighs> Rubicon protocol. Stop or slow the banished by any means necessary. They keep Zeta Halo out of their control. Buy Earth as much time as we can. That's our mission now. site is complete. The banished outpost here is more than a barracks. There are nothing forerunner tech from within the ring, including artifacts I've never seen before. But there's more. Over half of the banished attachment manning this post are peeling off to another excavation site, south of here. Orders from the war chief himself. A forerunner facility 
called the Conservatory. And whatever it is, it's important enough to divert Eshram's sole focus. We need eyes on the Conservatory as soon as possible. I go myself, but I need a closer look at the artifacts here. All this time we've assumed that Zeta Halo was like the others. What if it's something more? That's a lot of them. Sorrel, come in. I got eyes on a massive deployment of Banished. And a ton of hardware. Excavation equipment. Stone's intel was right. They found something. The Monitor. They have to be looking for the Monitor. I think you're right. They're moving in numbers we haven't seen since the Reverie fell. If they get the Monitor, they'll control the ring. Not if we get to it first. How do you propose we do that? We can stall their progress, sabotage their machines, disrupt their supply lines. But they'll cut through the steel eventually, and when they do... We make our move.
How many rings have you visited, Chief? Too many. Well, there's information stored in here about all of them. Memories. Data. Deliberate. Fractured. So much history. None of it clear. I am close to deciphering the runes. Perhaps I will learn who left them. My makers, the Forerunner's greatest fear was understood to be the Great Parasite. The Flood. A scourge that almost wiped out everything. I now believe this hypothesis to be incorrect. Their greatest fear is, was, losing their power. The fear of a master who would become a slave. Or a prison. Oh, maybe it's a zoo. 
But one thing's for sure, it's not like the other rings. We're in uncharted territory. My real top side is cut off, so I'm going further in. I'll find another way out. I picked up a UNFC signal from deeper in the facility. Maybe it's a... This is Spartan Vettel of Fireteam Taurus to all UNSC transmitters in range. I tracked down Griffin's last location before he went offline. I know where he went, where he was taken. He's been taken to the tower, and we know what happens there. The facility's heavily guarded, but if I can take one of those transport skiffs, I might be able to slip in. I'm not going to let Griffin die in chains, but I've been on this ring long enough to know that victory is not guaranteed. To all remaining UNSC on Zeta Halo, we don't give up. We never stop fighting, no matter what happens. This is hard to explain. Try me. There's a profound regret woven through everything I can decipher. Grief, even. Tens of thousands of years old and the sorrow still feels fresh. This installation has a troubled memory. That was the last one. It's tragic. A civilization that had it all under control until they didn't. There's so much here. It feels kind of like a confession. 
Imagine needing to carve your apology onto an eternal slate. But not to say sorry, to warn, to confess. Sounds familiar. It does, doesn't it? just went inside. Didn't see Eshram, but he might already be in there. So, two of us against all of them, huh? Well, I like those odds. It's not going to be easy, but it's the only move we have left. We find the monitor before they do. Backup would have been nice. It's just us now, Miko. We have to make do. Uh, time to move. How's the distraction coming? Stand by. Chief a promise. 
Uh, fair enough. On your mark, Spartan Griffin. Fly crate with a couple bottles of movement behind you. Damn it, he cloaked. You still with me? Yeah, we're good. Where'd he go? behind you. You better be Nico. Now then, where were we?
perimeter circuit around that cliffside outpost. We confirm the presence of Forerunner tech. Those same ring-shaped artifacts we've seen elsewhere. The banished are studying them, harvesting samples, sending them to God knows where. Spartan Rosado and I were curious where they were going, so we kind of sort of hijacked the banished transport they've been loading up. Autopilot's taking us away from the ridge to an unknown destination. As soon as we know where these samples are headed, what Asheron wants with them, we'll let you know. on the signal spikes we're detecting. You're right. It's Forerunner. That explains the high security. Good work, Jade. I'm suddenly less interested in what the banished are transporting and more interested in the destination. Time to hitch a ride? Stowing away on that phantom would be simpler than breaking through all that security. I don't like it, but that seems like the only viable option. It's... It's a truly awful plan. Oh, don't worry. As soon as we're clear of banished airspace, I'm commandeering the Phantom and coming to pick you up.
You're right behind me. I'm gonna keep moving. That link got me pretty good. I'm still alive, and I'm not giving up. Just like you. Right, Mako? Rubicon Protocol. We keep fighting for everyone we've lost, for everyone back on Earth. We never stop. Not until... Look there, brother. Jacob left us some table scraps. The last Spartan. Let us enjoy this moment, Tavares. Not until our last breath. You're in my way. Which one of you wants to die first? in range. This is Spartan Tomas Horvath, Fireteam Intrepid, and I appear to be alone. I am heading up spin, beyond the reach of the Vanished to search for survivors, for my fire team. I don't know what else to do. The silence on UNSC channels is not encouraging, but I will be listening, watching, surviving. Chief, if you can hear this, we need you, now more than ever.
Hmm. Would it surprise you if I said it wasn't going to be simple? Don't answer that. The lift's been disabled, presumably to slow us down. We're going to need to power it back up. You took your time. There was resistance. I heard. Let me look at you, John. The Spartans are my greatest achievement. Do you understand that? Are you okay, Dr. Halsey? That would depend entirely on who you were to ask. Was the mission successful? Yes. Good. This is not going to be easy, John. But it is the only option we have.
That's... there's something ahead, out the window.
times change. We are returning. Ended at the hands of those who made 